Hey, hey, Michelle here from Sensate Soul, as well as Mr. Ollie <laughs> in his da -da -da, Ollie trolley. <laughs> and um, I wanted to pop off this video um, to speak briefly about being proud of yourself. So this has come to me recently as um, some of my own personal inner growth, as well as, um, sorry, I'm looking around because I'm in a little bit of a public space here. <laughs> There's people and cars and stuff walking all around. Um, anyway, life, right? It's, it's keeping going on. So I wanted to talk about this for a moment because um, I have found, if I could say that there is one big consistency that I see in the people that I've worked with, um, as HSPs, empaths, and as creative empathic entrepreneurs, um, and you know, as creative entrepreneurs, spiritual entrepreneurs as well, um, there can be this tendency to not be proud of ourselves. Ouch, right? I know, it's, it's a tough thing to say, but I have observed in myself and also, like I said, in those that I work with, um, that this is really true. It's it's one of those kind of underlying um, th things, wounds, or things that we lacked growing up, um, that whether it was from our parents or whether it was from our teachers or from society itself. Um, you know, it's, it's not an exaggeration to say that most of, you know, <laughs> history, um, has been negligent on really valuing um, those who are highly sensitive, those who are extra sensitive, um, and those who are creative, those who really want to make a difference in the world. Now, of course, most of our heroes and sheroes uh, have made a difference in the world with their creative or spiritual um, or uh, paradigm shifting way of standing up and you know, taking that risk and standing out and being who they are and fighting for and standing up for the cause that they believe in. Uh, and a lot of those people, quite frankly, have been highly sensitive people, by the way. And um, so a lot of uh, world and paradigm changers have been HSPs. We have one of those right now uh, in, the in the highlight of Greta Thunberg and other um, teenage activists who are really fighting for the earth, fighting for the future. And um, there's this thing about not being told when we're growing up by either our families or by society or our teachers and everything to be really proud of who we are to not have that like wow you know the parents saying oh, i'm incredibly proud of not only what you've done but of who you are and i know that sounds kind of like bummer right but it is i find has been very true and it's one of those main mindsets that's underneath a lot of the self-doubt is because we don't often as hsps as creatives as spiritual entrepreneurs um, a lot of times the things that we are doing and going for and standing up for are kind of underdog things, are, you know, the subtle aspects of life, the things that are not, um, you know, so ex external, out there, celebrated, valued by the majority. You know, we are often uh, mavericks, we are often misfits, we are often, uh, you know, shifters, <laughs> shapeshifters, we are often ones who are quietly changing the world. And um, so it's it, the thing that we uh, are strong in is not always that obvious. So often there's this missing um, link in our self-esteem, in our sense of self, that we're not told by those around us that they're very proud of us and proud of who we are and also proud of what we've done. I know that this has been, you know, a big thing, bless you, Ollie, a big thing in my life where it was that feeling of like, you know, to my parents, it's like, please, could you please say that you're proud of me? Um, you know, I'm really seeking and pushing for that validation, proving myself. And, um, you know, that is something, a mindset that I've had to work through many layers of it. So if you resonate with this, I want to give a couple little tips here. The first one is 
make it your mantra to say that you're proud of yourself and actually don't just use it as like a general kind of like well you know I'm proud of you hey not like that kind of cheerleading take some conscious time you know use this as like a gratitude practice you know that which is a beautiful you know practice I do that myself of writing down the things in the morning and also in the evening that I'm grateful for but being specific with them and using that as like do the version where you say what you're proud of yourself and be, suspe be specific of what you have done or who you've been in that day or you know it doesn't have to just be things it is also very much so for about who you are so doing that specific list at the end of the day or even at the beginning if you want to <laughs> you know or both um, of the specific you know three to five things that you're proud of yourself that day and just really using that mantra as often as possible of saying you know what I'm proud that you know fill in the blank <laughs> so the next thing is actually to ask a good friend of yours ask your partner ask a beloved of yours you know ask somebody who it really would matter that it would come from them and who can also give it to you genuinely you ask them to give you more accolades to celebrate your achievements to speak about how proud they are of you you know maybe you know there's different five like the five love languages maybe words isn't your things but you know if you know what your love language is you can ask somebody to celebrate you in what that love language is and then the last one here number three is just make a point to do something every day that you can be proud of yourself so you know it's all those little things that can add up to big achievements or big things you know getting big things done and we can waste a lot of energy and also a lot of our self-esteem when we procrastinate and when we you know we don't put that one foot in front of the other and take action on something so find one little thing you can do every day to push the needle towards getting something done or simply being proud of yourself and be proud of that one tidy baby step be proud of that small achievement now this isn't that kind of mentality which <laughs> you know I have a teenager and I have been raised uh, I have been raising him in a culture of a lot of the kind of uh, you know entitlement parenting um, where it's like you don't just get the medal because you showed up <laughs> at the you know you actually have to have some skin in the game um, and that I do really do believe in uh, that, that that's true so this isn't about just kind of giving yourself fa false kind of you know oh good job you did it you know but really do take a moment to have pride in yourself to be proud of the little things that you do and genuinely and sincerely send that message to yourself and that could be done you know through a beautiful deep breath that can be done through taking a moment and doing some sensate uh, enhancing experience where you really enjoy the feel of the sun on you you where you get some fresh air and deep breaths where you take your shoes off and you walk in the grass and you connect with the earth or you have a delicious cup of hot chocolate or you know you really visually let yourself enjoy and play with what's around you or you know you do something that is sensually is in the senses pleasing so that your body can really register that pride um, so it's not just a heady affirmative kind of like yeah go you it's really more of a sitting down and having a moment and a pause to to reckon with yourself um, what you did do and and remember you got to do it in order to <laughs> have the uh, have the self pride moment so that will definitely help <laughs> And it also will help that to-do list or those things that you want to get done. It'll help inch them closer to be getting done. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. And please do leave a comment. Love to hear what you think about this. As well as uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and um, share with a friend. All that social media love. Come on over to sensatesoul.com to stay in touch and get things that I only share through private emails. So much love. See you in the next video.